Welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial. This tutorial is based on a discriminant quadratic equation. So I will start by changing the back color of this very form to yeah, as smooth enough. Then add label. I need more of those labels here. And maybe one more up here. The one up there will be my title and just move these ones down here. And I'll need uh, maybe a picture box here. One button right here. And text box. Where are they? We need a text box here. One I need three of those, yeah that's that's fine. And we also need some labels here. Yes, that's one too many, delete that. Yeah. So let me just speed this up and get back to you guys. Alright. Okay, right now this is how my interface is looking after the design so double click on the command button and enter the following there the following variable we have a and all of this variable will be double okay, the data type will be double okay the next thing i'll do is b equals let's assign b to text box a text box one dot text and a I will assign a to text box two that will be text box two three so that's a as variable a and this is variable c okay all my all of my variables are now ready so now the next one is variable let's add a space here variable root one equals the discriminant formula which is b multiplied by b minus four multiply open a bracket a multiply by c so that is that that's the discriminant formula right there okay then the next thing is since I want the square root of whatever my answer is, so let's say mass dot square of root one done. So the next thing is label label three dot text equals root one, which is the discriminant. Then label four dot text equals the square root level 4 will be root 2 and that is all to this code right now hopefully there won't be any problem so let's run it and see what we've done so far and here is my interface enter my fourth value in there or my first question then 3 and then let's say minus 4 here so if that is correct Yep, that is correct, 64, which means 64 is greater than 0. In that case, if 64 is greater than 0, that means we have two, two distinct real roots right there. Okay. In the case of the square root, I just put that in there. Okay. So, supposing my solution is less than zero if it's less than zero in that case that means there is no root no square no root at all okay but if it's equals to zero and then in that case that means two equal root so let's see if we can arrive at something totally different let's say six right there and uh, minus nine here all right so in that case we still have 297 which is greater than zero 
So that means two distinct roots. I'm just gonna call it today, right? I'm gonna say bye for now. Just before I go, have a look at the code again.